Good morning, everyone. Hi, this is Pastor Song Bay. I just wanted to encourage some people today. Um, I just, you know, I feel like I need to encourage some people today, and I have a prophetic now word for people today. Uh, let me just start us off with a word of prayer. Father God, I thank you for this time. I thank you for um, those people that are watching and who will be watching this on replay. I just pray for joy of the Lord to come upon us. I break. Uh, the darkness and the depression that is trying to attack people in Jesus name. Amen Hi everyone. Um, it's great to see you um, I normally do this spontaneously so you didn't know I was doing this but I just had an out word I um, and the title of this word is Morning into dancing morning into dancing M-O-U-R-N-N-I-N-G so sadness and sorrow into dancing. That's the now word for you you know, how many of you have been kind of struggling with depression and darkness? Uh, you know, it's I. it would be a lie if I said that I'm happy all the time. I'm really choosing to be joyful. But there's so many things that, that come towards me. Not even just my personal things, but people who are requesting these days. And I feel like sometimes I, I kind of drown in this sea of people asking for help. And uh, it's been a bit too much sometimes. And uh, yesterday I got a message from a good friend of mine. Um, that just told me that shootings uh, went up in New Haven, city of New Haven, and she was very concerned and asked me to pray for them. And I know that uh, shootings in uh, New York City also has gone up in the past few weeks and uh, in different cities as well. So yeah, there are a lot of things to be concerned about. Or, you know, there are a lot of things. But this morning I got up and I, I thought I have to do this word because Sometimes sharing the word of the Lord and prophesying and releasing the word either through light beam groups when I write or prophesying like this, God really brings joy. So this is the word Psalm 30, 11 to 12. You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord, my God, I will praise you forever. Amen and amen. So I was reminded of that song, uh, like an old song. I don't know if you guys know the song. I encourage you to listen to this song today if you have time. It's, uh, it's called Morning Into Dancing. He's turned my morning into dancing again. He's lifted my sorrows and I can't stay silent. I must sing for his joy has come. You guys know that? Let's sing it again. He's turned my morning into dancing again. He's lifted my sorrows. I can't stay silent. I must sing for his joy has come. All right, so that's the song you should look up today and play it in your living room because there's so much darkness that's over people. And I break and bind it in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, in this uh, short word and broadcast, I break and bind uh, all the depression, all the sadness, all the mourning, even if there is a good reason to mourn, I pray that you will take out the the or, uh, the origin of these things. I bind it, break it in the name of Jesus. I pray for release of dancing. I pray for release of songs. I pray for release of joy in this hour in Jesus' mighty name. Let's all pray in tongues. I just felt like I needed to encourage you because as things have escalated and as, as, as we are in a time of war, how do we battle? We battle with the word of God. We battle with praise and worship. We battle with praise and worship. He's turned my morning into dancing again. He's lifted my sorrows and I can't stay silent. I must sing for his joy has come. Sing it again. He's turned my morning, he's turned my morning into dancing again. He lifted my sorrows and I can't stay silent. I must sing for his joy has come. Hallelujah. I want, I want to encourage you to sing today, to dance in joy in Jesus' mighty name. So I bless you with the joy of the Lord. Uh, let me just prophesy. I want all of us to pray together because I feel like there's such a darkness, especially um, over America. And, and just a small testimony. I mean, I normally don't watch the news very much, but uh, yesterday I watched a full version of the news and it, it wasn't very encouraging. It was not encouraging. And I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have watched it. Um, and I could feel, I could, as I watched the news, I could feel this pressure. It was almost like I could feel my uh, heart being feeling pressured and feeling frustrated. 
And then I, I got another news from somebody that I know very close saying that uh, she tested positive for COVID and it kind of kind of discouraged me. I was like, God, I thought we were over this. What's going on? And I wasn't feeling much joy this morning. And I thought, you know what? I have to declare, I have to prophesy and we have to turn this thing around. So dance with me, let's declare Psalm 30. You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that we will not stay silent. I pray for praise and worship, release of joy upon the body of Christ. I pray that God, you will give us creative ways to release the sound in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, my God, I will praise you forever and ever. So Father, whoever that is struggling in this hour, whoever that is being cornered in the darkness, we just break it in Jesus' name. I pray for the, for the sunlight of Jesus, for sun to shine upon uh, the people of God, that we would receive the vitamin D of the Holy Spirit, that we would just, our immune system will be boosted up in Jesus' mighty name. Spiritual immune system will go up in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that God, you will go and uh, give people tangible things that they can feel, tangible presence of God, tangible uh, vitamins, spiritual vitamin, uh, physical vitamins to boost our immune system so that we would be full of joy and power in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, he's turned my morning into dancing again. He's lifted my sorrows. And I can't stay silent. I must sing for his joy has come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you release joy this morning to every person, every person that is under quarantine, every child, every family that's been in depression, every person that's struggling economically. I pray, God, that you will give them vision for their future. I release future and hope for the future upon your children in this hour in Jesus' mighty name. So I see, I see the Lord just blessing you. I just break off this dark uh, thought in this mental battle that you've been going through. So I see that many of you have been going through mental struggles. So I break that off of you in Jesus' name. There's stuff in your head that's not of God. So I break that off right now in Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's turned my morning into dancing again. He's lifted my sorrows, and I can't stay silent. Oh, I sing for his joy has come. Sing it again. He's turned my morning. He's turned my morning into dancing again. He's lifted my sorrows, and I can't stay silent. I must sing for his joy has come. Hallelujah. Father God, I pray for release of joy in this morning in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray that you will give us strength to not only live day by day, not only to survive, but to thrive in the name of Jesus. I see God putting an uh, engine in your, in your car. It was like he was replacing your old engine with a new engine to push you forward. He's saying that, my children, you are not to survive, but you are to thrive in this season. In the name of Jesus, so I push you forward in Jesus' name. I break every eye. I pray that you will discern where these negative things are coming in from. I pray that you will discern where these holes, what I'm seeing in this hour as I pray for you. I see like, you know, like when mouse comes in and like eats, uh, like I know like uh, one time I had ramen in my <laughs> college dorm and I heard this little noise and I saw the mouse had made a little hole in my rice, uh, my uh, ramen noodles. And scratched it and took some, stole it. And it's kind of like that. It was like the devil is, is uh, like a little mouse, a little mi a mice comes in and just scratches you and takes the strength out of you. And I just pray that you would discern that today. You would throw that out. You would clean your house. Father, I pray the blood of Jesus will cover that all these little mouse holes, mice holes, however you describe it will be covered by the blood of Jesus, that we will not uh, let the devil steal our joy, steal our strength, steal our faith, steal our hope in you, Father, in the name of Jesus. So I bless you in this hour in Jesus' mighty name. So that was a brief word of encouragement this morning. I want to encourage you to read out loud your word, uh, the Bible. When you read it, read it out loud. Turn up some worship music, dance in your rooms. Uh, go and do something good. Uh, encourage people, smile at people. I guess if you have a mask on, they won't know. Uh, but, you know, pull your mask down and smile. <laughs> I just want to encourage you that we just have to turn this thing around. I break this negative cloud. It will not come near you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Bye-bye.